Today we're gonna to be showing some leg counters. In my opinion, leg counters are one of the most important parts of wrestling because you're gonna at some point wrestle someone who likes throwing legs in. If you don't know how to get out of it and keep yourself safe, uh, you can get your shoulders torn when they start cranking on some power halves. All right, so one of the main positions you're gonna to wanna to do anytime someone throws a leg in is step up with your opposite leg, okay? So if, you, if somebody ever gets a leg in, Right, throw their left boot in. First thing you do is step up with your other leg and block. So I step with this leg and block. I'm blocking, making sure the second leg doesn't come in. Now the reason why I step with this leg is it starts creating a ramp on my back for him to slide off of. He's not comfortable. When both my knees are on the mat, he can just lay on my back very easily and he can flatten me out. So right when one leg comes in, I step the other leg out. Never step the same leg up. So if he throws the leg in, I don't want to ever step the same leg up because that's going to turn my body this way and that's where I can get turned. So anytime leg comes in, my first thing is step the opposite leg up and block. So throw his leg in, step and block. Now, based on what he's doing, I'm going to have to do something different. So the first thing I'm going to do is start attacking whatever he has that's holding him on top of me. So for example, here, this lock is, what hold, is holding him on top of me. Another example is he could have my, uh, maybe, yeah, maybe locked here. That's what's holding him on top of me. Or he could just have a little a grip like this. Hand here, hand here, that's holding on top. Could have a tight waist, right? Something like this. So whatever is holding him on top on the other side, I have to peel that off. So it's gonna look different every time, but I'm peeling it off, making sure he doesn't re-grab my wrist so everything's kind of quick, peeling it off. And after I peel it off, I'll even use my elbow. So we'll turn this way a little bit. So I'll use my elbow to bump him off and I'm just pushing everything off. Whether it was around my thigh, around my ankle, I gotta get the grip off and push it off. Once it's off, I'm gonna start pivoting to my right in this, in this case and pretending like he's, uh, you know, like a shirt you're trying to get off where you kind of lean like this. You try to pull your shirt off like that over top of you. So pretend like he's, your opponent's a shirt and you're backing out, letting him slide off over top of you. So we're here, I always step up right away, I'm blocking, making sure the second leg doesn't come in. I start attacking things and pushing him off. As I push him off, I don't let him throw another leg in or anything else. I start, this hand, my uh, other hand, starts cutting in. I drop to my other knee if I have to but I'm really just trying to get him off of me. So I'm sliding backwards. I do not, when we're in this position, when we're about to get the reversal, you do not want to drive into them. If you drive in too early, this is in many situations. So if I'm here, if I start dry, like trying to drive in too early, he's gonna scooch around and get back on top. So anytime you're about to get that reversal, you've got to go backwards and circle away from the person. Get your hips away from them. So, um, one specific thing I'll do sometimes, because some people, um, it's still difficult. So you gotta have some other tricks up your sleeve. One thing I'll do is I'll bait the person to throw a second leg in. I do this especially when, sometimes I try and hit the person down like this, and they'll post this right leg back so I can't hit them down. All right, when I'm versus an opponent like that where I can't hip down, I can't get them off of me, I'll, let, I'll bait them to throw a second leg in. So I'll, you know, kind of not stop blocking as much and let them try and throw that leg in. If they get it here, or even if they get it here, I'm gonna grab it, all right, and then I'm gonna throw it like this, throw it behind my shoulder, by my back, and then I'm gonna drop uh, this hand, it's called a swim. All right, so I'm gonna drop this hand, like throw it this way, and land on my side of my head and my shoulder. So I throw the arm, drop like that, okay? Once I've done that, he still has this arm, he's got some, some sort of thing to pull him back up. I may pull that off too. I start circling away, the same position, backing out. Now I can go to get my reversal. So you'll see a lot of these things are gonna, you're gonna end up in the exact same position, okay? The next thing I have is another little trick you can do is I will sit the person to their butt. All right, anytime I sit the person to their butt though, I don't want to stay there too long or I want to get my body low to the ground. So here's one reversal I like to do. So go ahead and get the leg in. 
One reversal I like to do is I'll use my other foot. Oh, I'll sit him to sit him to his side, all right, to here. But I gotta keep my weight. Anytime I sit somebody to their side, I've gotta keep my weight forward. Forward. I can't. I can't sit him to um, his his hip and stay back like this. I'm gonna get halved or I'll get pulled over to the other side. So anytime you decide that you like these kind of techniques where you're sitting the person to their butt, you've got to keep your weight forward, all right, and be in this position. There is some technique where you can reach back here, but for right now, we're not gonna show that. So but basic fundamental, I'm leaning forward. Now what I like to do, if they have the leg still hooked, some people have this leg still hooked, I've gotta get this leg unhooked. So I'll use my foot and I'll unhook it here. See that? Here, I use my foot, hook it, I get it out. Then from here, I'm gonna sit down and away. I'm almost gonna put myself in the crack down position from a high crotch. So I'm gonna get this arm in, in, in between, and I'm gonna sit down and away. And you're gonna see me end up in some, somewhat of a high crotch position here. All right, now here, the high crotch position is very similar to when I had a safe <laughs> <laughs> so the high crotch position is very similar to when I have a single, um, to when I, the first reversals we did. So I'm here, I'm not going to drive too much forward, I'm going to back out, make sure any little grip he has on me, I'm taking it off, and I'm looking for a double from here to reverse him. Alright? So. All right, so another thing I'll do is when I get a leg in, I sit him to his butt, same kind of situation. I'm, sit, I'm trying to stay forward though, all right? I wanna just go over one little detail anytime you sit somebody to their butt. Very common mistake wrestlers will do is they'll pull this up to here because they think that they can almost pull the body around them. That's pretty, uh, when you have a good leg rider, it's not gonna work very well. So never take the leg, never try and like, pull, essentially what, what they think is they can pull them like all the way around them like that. It doesn't work. Good leg riders are gonna grab their own ankle and hold you in and scoot around like that. So don't ever grab it. If you're gonna grab the foot, you grab it with the same hand. You take it out, grab it the same hand. You don't grab it across. Because even, even, even if you grab it across here, they can grab their own ankle, they can grab your wrist. All right? So if you're gonna grab an ankle, you grab it with the same hand. This is, again, if the leg was hooked, I could use my own ankle, straighten it out, kick it. But if I'm already leaning forward, I can do the same technique that we just did by grabbing it. Grab it, take it out, get low to the floor on my side, going into that high crotch position. All right, and you're just finishing it like a crack down. Step up. Finish double. All right, so the next thing we're gonna go over is a position when they have uh, a banana split or they have a, uh, I'm not sure, what's the, what, is, do you do the Johnny Mac and then banana split or just when they have the arm? The guilty. The guilty arm. All right, so the next thing we're gonna show you is um, when the person has a guillotine on you, it gets very difficult to do a lot of these techniques I was showing. Um, we have two moves that I like to do from there. One's a swim, similar to when they, ha they threw that double leg in. I threw that arm, hit my shoulder. All right, so we have the swim, and we also have the uh, Johnny Mac roll, which is called, I don't know, that's actually the you know, technical name for it, but we'll first show the swim. So my opponent gets one leg in, Again, right away I want to step up here if I can. And they get the they get a power half in. Um, actually I'm gonna re, re redo it because I, I guess it should be power half is the one thing and then the power half is swim, not guillotine swim. Right? Uh, power half. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Alright, All right, the next thing I'm gonna show you guys is um, what to do when something your opponent power halves you. Alright? So opponent's got a leg in. All right, I was to step up, they power half. Now when they power half, you do have to be very careful of the second leg coming in because you don't, you can't as easily reach down, especially if they're cranking this up. So you've got to be very careful. So if they're cranking it up, you may want to drop to both knees just to make sure they don't put that second leg in. But 
We have this power half here. I'm up here because I'm already one falling off. And I'm going to show you guys the swim. So the swim is, I'm, this hand is going like this. It's going right between my legs and I'm falling to my shoulder. The other arm is doing like a freestyle stroke and swimming where you do like a big circle with this arm. And the goal is to make him fall off the left side of me when I do this. So I go here. All right, slap the mat in front of me. And I, then I'm in that same position that we were in before. I can circle right, back out, okay? Never drive forward when you're about to get that reversal. Always back out. If you drive forward, they're gonna suck you back in that position. So, now, show it one more time real, real quick. All right, so I'm here. I'm gonna, I'm, I always pinch back here. Anytime somebody power asks me, I'm pinching back here first. Wrestling here. I bump, bump, drop, from here. All right, I don't drive into him. I back away from him, get my reversal. Now, sometimes your opponent might be holding on very tightly. What we can do is do a full roll to gain momentum with it. So, this is what I've seen sometimes. You know, better leg riders, it gets more difficult and more difficult. But essentially, you can do, I'm trying to get out of screen, but you can do a forward roll here, a sideways roll here, come up to here, and then. So you build the momentum. You can sideways roll right back to the same position and hit it just to add some momentum to it. You can also do it by starting in both knees. So here, you can start in both knees and kind of like wind it up. But you're trying to buck him off of you, so you may have to add some extra stuff to it. One thing, anytime you have to have a power half and you decide to roll on your own back, you do have to roll all the way. If I'm here, I do not want to do this anytime. I do not want to try and, I don't really want to try, don't try and sit somebody from this position. I'm not gonna try and sit them here to his hip. You're gonna pull back to here. So if anything, they have, if you're ever in this position where they have a power half, I'm gonna roll all the way through to the other side to try to get to my base. So, on this way a little bit. So I'm here, I'm gonna always roll all the way to this side and come back up. All right, to here. So as any time someone has a power half, you don't wanna sit, be sitting on your hip. All right, you always wanna come back to the other side. All right, so next thing, if the person has a guillotine on me, so they're either back here, they have it here, or they could just be here with it, okay? What I'm gonna do from this position is I'm gonna start basing up to here. I'm gonna roll over the same side they have the leg. Okay, so they have the leg here. I'm gonna do a sideways roll, like a roll over my left shoulder in this case. Okay, so I'll back up a little bit. Let's see. All right, throw a leg in. I'm going to roll through, and then as I roll, I'm gonna kick my legs free and switch my hips to there. Very explosive, so I'm like, I'm here. All right, I'm gonna roll, and I'm gonna, straight, I'm gonna straighten my leg out, the one that they have leg in, and flip my hips over. All right, I am flipping towards the head. So, you know, the more this is built up, you know, the more you're fighting it, the more you're kind of, the higher you get, easier it's gonna be. You hit the roll, you straighten the leg they have, you've got to straighten it out to help kick you free. You kick, and then switch your hips towards the head. Okay, this move does work from the banana split as well. So, they're here, and they lock in the crotch here, same kind of thing. It's very difficult to use that basic technique we were using earlier from here, because it's hard to just peel this off. So you can come to a tripod, you sideways roll towards the side they have the leg in, you straighten that leg, and you crawl towards the head. All right? You got anything else you want to show me? Um, uh, I can talk about using it offensively for a little bit. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, so I'm gonna talk about using, I'm gonna show you a couple ways how to use leg counters offensively. So the first line of leg counters is really about protecting yourself, making sure you're not getting turned. As you get very good at them, 
You can bait the top guy to throw a leg in, or you can force the leg in from bottom to start looking for reversals or looking for defensive pins. I'll show you a couple examples of that. What I might do when I line up on bottom is I teach you inside leg stand up. I might start rotating in and standing up, but I'm gonna be almost baiting, I'm just baiting him to throw a leg in. So I'm, instead of actually coming up to my feet, I'm just gonna open my hip like this, and it just makes it so comfortable and easy for him to throw that leg in. And a lot of times people who don't even ride legs will still throw that leg in here. Now, once he does throw a leg in, I go into the same, same leg counters that Evan was just showing. But what I wanna make sure I do is I go into the leg counters immediately. So I don't wanna let him sink the boot in and then start cranking on my shoulders to go into my leg counters. What I'm gonna do is force the leg in or bait him to throw it in and immediately put him in danger. So I'm on bottom here, I rotate up. The second his heel goes inside of my, inside of my leg here, I'm gonna hit him down and get right to the same position as before. From here, I'm popping my head out, looking for my reversal. I show it again here, I'm on bottom, I rotate up, I open that hip. If you want, you can also, I can force the leg all the way in by wrapping. Really depends on your hip flexibility and how comfortable you feel there. Uh, some people will go as far as to bait them to throw a power half. I don't feel comfortable doing that just because I don't want my shoulders to rip off. My shoulders aren't crazy flexible, but some people are, so they'll, they'll go as far as this. They'll let that leg come in, and they'll start going like this. They'll come up, they'll let, they'll let them throw the power half. And then from here, they go into the swim technique, pop up and cover. The way you might uh, bait with the Johnny Mackerel is you're gonna let them throw the leg in and you're gonna reach back. So almost every coach teaches kids never to reach back on bottom, but in this case, you're trying to trick the top guy. Top guy doesn't know exactly what's going on. You're grabbing their head, kind of cranking on it a bit. They take you back for a guillotine. You go with it and you get your reversal. So I open the hip, the leg's in. He's riding, maybe he's picking at my ankle or something, he's riding here. All I'm gonna do is just grab his head. Now, I'm not gonna go and try to actually pin him here, but I'm just gonna pretend. I'm pulling his head down a bit, then he starts pressuring back right here, and he might even hook my head. He's pressuring back, and I'm still cranking a bit, and then I go with it. All right, we're going with it, it's just I'm gonna still drop to my left shoulder and, and go through, but again, I'm gonna get some height here first. I don't wanna do it from my knees. I get a little bit of height, he starts cranking it. I go to the shoulder, leg extends, pin switch, looking for the pin. If you hit this move, you should always be looking for the pin, not just looking to get out. Some of the other ones you might be looking to get out of, but if you're gonna go this deep into uh, the defense, you should always be looking to pin after you hit John Mack. All right, so that's all we got for leg reversals. Um, again, let us know what else you guys wanna see. Um, and you know, see you guys next video, see you guys at practice if you're a local kid looking to get nasty, all right? Thank you.